Well, first it was your soda. Ah, oh, that was too big. Now New York becomes the first American state, to, uh, city I should say, to require salt warnings on chain restaurant menus. Loria Roman is with us, and she's with the Salt Institute, and she comes to us today from my favorite place in the whole of America, Naples, Florida. Now, Laura, you say that uh, a high salt diet is not necessarily bad for you. Is that correct? Well, it's as if the New York City uh, bureaucrats and the federal bureaucrats haven't picked up a medical journal article in about a decade because uh, I guess, Stuart, you probably wouldn't be surprised if I told you that the government was about a decade behind on their research. But uh, research shows that Americans already eat right about in the, and actually the low uh, end of the safe range of sodium consumption, which is about 3,000 milligrams to 7,000 milligrams a day. What Americans that, eat around 3,400 yeah. milligrams right now. 3,400 milligrams of salt. Is that about a teaspoon? That's about it? Uh, it it's a little over, but okay. if we all ate what the government told us to eat, we would all have a higher rate of heart attacks and uh, an earlier death. If, if It would be dangerous if we actually did eat what the government told us to eat when it came to sodium. Their recommendations are too low. They're outdated. They're not based in science. And it really does it does seem that none of them have picked up any peer-reviewed medical journals in a very long time. So if a high-salt diet is not necessarily bad for you, how about a low-salt diet? Is that bad for you, necessarily? Well, the research shows clearly that a low-salt diet is much more dangerous for you than a high-salt diet. Uh, the safe range seems to be between 3,000 and 7,000 milligrams a day. The government would have people at 1,500 milligrams to 2,300 milligrams. And uh, luckily, none of us do what the government says or we would be in trouble. I do worry about people uh, who are kind of captive and cannot go seek out, they can't seek out naturally what their body um, wants them to seek out in sodium. So I worry about people in nursing homes. I worry about kids who uh, get more than one of their meals uh, from a public school lunch program, which may not have enough sodium in it. Mm -hmm. For the rest of us, it appears that we answer to a higher authority than New York City or uh, federal government bureaucrats. It does appear that, like animals, we uh, subconsciously seek out just about the right amount of salt during our day. And we know this Got from uh, numerous studies in many countries. Okay. In 40 different countries, hundreds of thousands of people Laurie, were all eating in the safe, safe I hear range. You. Laurie, I'm sorry, I'm up against a hard break, and I don't want to cut you off. But we'll end it now. And thanks very much for joining us today from Naples.